Hi, I'm Sean from Sonodyne and I'm going to introduce you to our pressure inverted echo sounder instrument. We call it PIES for short and to explain how it could add value to your next seismic survey or oceanographic measurement. Let me first explain how PIES works. PIES contains two important components, an acoustic transducer that allows us to transmit short acoustic pulses from the seabed to the sea surface and an internal pressure sensor that allows us to accurately measure seabed pressure or depth. Each PIES unit is deployed on the seabed before the survey. At programmable intervals, the unit transmits a short acoustic pulse upwards towards the surface and at the same time starts a highly accurate internal timer. The pulse is reflected by the water-air interface and travels back to the seabed where its arrival time is used to stop the timer. So now we can calculate the total travel time for the signal travelling from the seabed to the surface and back again and we call this the two-way travel time. At the same time we use the internal pressure sensor to measure the height of the water column above each PIES unit or the seabed depth. So now we've measured the two-way travel time and the distance over which the acoustic pulse travelled so we can calculate the average water velocity noting that speed equals total distance divided by total travel time. And since we can repeat this measurement process any time we want, a continuous time history of water velocity can be generated. Heat from the sun and ocean currents can cause the water velocity to change very quickly, and if not carefully measured, can dramatically affect the quality of the seismic images. Therefore, several PIES units are typically deployed across the field for the entire duration of the survey. Depending on the project, there are two different packaging options to consider, including a tube-style unit with flotation collar, which can be deployed by ROV or even dropped into position from the surface, and also a highly pressure-tolerant and corrosion-proof glass sphere unit with large battery capacity for up to 10 years operational life. Both units can be deployed at up to 6,000 metres depth below the surface, and our USBL underwater tracking system can be used to position them during deployment and recovery and can also find their exact seabed locations very accurately. Retrieving the data from a PIES unit is simple. It can be extracted periodically using an integral acoustic modem to transmit the data to a USBL system or modem dunker deployed from a vessel or autonomous surface vehicle. Or the PIES unit itself can be acoustically commanded to return to the surface for collection and the data extracted by simply pulling the SD memory card. I have been working with PIES since it was first developed several years ago and seen how these instruments have had a positive impact. The accuracy and repeatability of water velocity and tidal variation data have added significant value to seismic exploration and ocean observation. If you would benefit from PIES in your next survey or would like more information, please contact our team or visit sonodyne.com. Thanks for watching.